Original. Hello, all my friends. Welcome back to International Diecast Garage. I'm Jason, your host. We are so happy that you're here with us. Thank you for watching our channel. Hope you're all doing great. If you're not already, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. It would mean a lot to us. So, without further ado, let's jump right in here. I went ahead and did a little pre open on this, but I haven't actually uh, looked at what's inside yet. This is a Risa purchase from the Evil Bay. I uh, want to go ahead and let you guys have a look right along with me. See what you think about our recent snag off of that evil place. We're pretty excited about this one. A while to get here. Hopefully, it will be worth wait. That open it up, causing too much uh, ruckus. Sometimes these are take a little bit too good. If you're not really careful, you mess up a nice vintage piece or a new piece. Ooh, look at that! Pretty cool. Not quite as big as I thought. But that is okay. What we have here is Matchbox, the Superchargers, Bigfoot by four. There we go. Leave in so you guys can see it. Check that out. Got some nice, meaty, like actually like correct looking tires on there. And you got your Vintage Toys R Us sticker. Like these were $2.99. They're not too far off of that today. That is really 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 cool very cool let's look at the back here yes got just a little bit big foot at the top I guess a one rolling thunder that's cool one high mad dog two awesome pole so high Big Pete, that's cool. Peter built. Sorry about that zoom, guys. It's not going to work too well. A little bit better look at those real quick. <laughs> Some really, really, really neat. SC10 Toad. Ah, crash. Those are all really cool. This had a date on the back. Looks like 1990 Matchbox. So this would have been a 90. 91 release, which honestly would have been back when I would have been fine. I was born in 83. So anyway, this is a pretty hard piece to find. Um, I liked it because it has the original, you know, Matchbox card and the rocking awesome card art. So what happened with this one is it had come off of the blister. The blister had come off the card. The blister's not busted. It's honestly in a lot better a lot better shape than I thought, um, you know, even down to the Toys R Us sticker. But if you look at this really close, um, you, you can see that it's been re-glued. There's a little bit of piece of cardboard missing there. But the cool thing about that is I think you could, you could display this, you know, carded like that if you want to. Uh, or go ahead and, you know, take this from the card or maybe split the bottom and, and display it loose if you wanted to also. Uh, but the car inside does appear to be in a uh, nice mint shape and uh, the seller you know had listed this as so that blister had been re-glued and uh, price is right on this we decided to go ahead and jump on it got a pretty good friend of ours that is really into bigfoot and they have to they have to fight him over this vintage matchbox <laughs> Doug, if you're watching, that was a joke. Totally yours, brother. All right. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen of the diecast world. How cool is that? Well, once again, so thankful that you've tuned in with us. We hope you're enjoying the content. Absolutely having a wonderful time making it for you. We're always looking forward to your likes, to your comments, and your feedback. Please stay tuned for more diecast 
and car culture coverage. We hope that you're blessed. Please take care of yourself and your neighbors. Till the next one. Bye, my friends. Like and comment and subscribe our channel.